Because it's like two types of people in the world. See that dreamer. That dreamer. And then uh, there's a second type. There's also haters. And the only difference is one thing. One thing. Haters forgot about their dreams. Haters forgot about their dreams. Haters forgot about their dreams. And they look at you dreaming, they look at you dreaming and trying, and they don't want you to do anything. You know, I just figured out that the word fear is a four letter word. Fear is what keeps most people back from trying. And it's not even fear of failure. It's fear of embarrassment of failure. It's fear of other people's words. Tell me something like, have you ever heard anybody ever talk shit about me? So, if I could take all the shit that people talk about me, and still dream like this to bring a mountain to the middle of the stadium and open this up. With all the shit that people talk, I want people to see me and feel like this is an example that anything is possible. Because I'm not the one that's scared. You are what's scary to them. The idea that you wouldn't be controlled by dumbass media manipulation. They wanna hold you, they wanna hold you, they wanna hold you. And they so scared, they so scared, they won't control you, they won't control you. They're so scared, they're so scared They don't know what to do, they don't know what to do They don't know what to do, they don't know what to do You know, most of the hate that I get is from an old ass generation You know what I'm saying? People that's put so far into their box so closed in, so closed minded. They dreams got dead in a long time ago. And you know, I feel more sorry for them than anything. You know, like I, I got into a lot of trouble, I guess, trouble. For using uh, that Confederate flag and everything. So let me really explain to you what the thought was. It wasn't about racism. It was about free thought. All these symbols, signifiers, words, insults, only have the power that you give them. You can take the power into your own hand. You can move so much faster than the, than the older generations. I was born without the motherfucking internet. My dad was born without TV. The only responsibility it's to each other. Because hate and racism and fear are taught and inbred in us. And why they're so afraid of me 
is because if y'all ever see me do everything that I do and remain for 10 years, then that might remove the fear that they want to put in all of you. So when I, when I wrote the song, I Am A God, it ain't no cliche, oh, it's Kanye getting me and cocky and talking about him, God. No, I want the job to have that in your headphones when you go on a job interview, when you jogging, when you're about to play sports. And I wanted you to feel like you could do anything. I want my music to be that sock of cocaine, that shot of espresso. That extra boost the confidence that you might need when everything is so motherfucking weak and you just need to believe that something is true. And you know it's like, it must be working. Because without no radio playing, every one of these shows was sold out. Without no radio play, no video play, the Yeezy sold out in 11 minutes. And I know I, 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 you know, I was kind of turned last year. I might be turned up a little bit. Just a fat a tad bit of smidgen. The bottom line is, I'm happy that I was able they want to do this for y'all tonight, and I want to be able to keep making contributions. Contributions to society. Contributions to thought. Contributions to the spirit. Contributions to confidence. For you to not fear the consequence. Cause failing to try is the only failure. And I hit a couple walls. When I hit those walls, I turned up. When I hit those walls, I turned up. But guess what? I got my ideas still now. And I got my little office. And I'm working on my little clothes every day and working on my shoes. And it makes me so happy. I get to see my girl, I get to see my daughter, I get to see my father, and all of my friends. And it makes me so happy. So when they catch those photos of me looking extra mad, don't believe me. Because they try to write me off as a side of the mad wrestler and shit. The eternal bad guy, the away team. The thing that makes me the most happy is when someone comes to me and says, that song, Can't Tell Me Nothing, got me through my day. Or, oh, oh, yay, my mama passed away, and that song, Hey Mama, really meant something to me. But when people say, my beautiful Dr. Tristan Fantasy is my favorite album of all time. That makes the nine months that we worked on that album so worth it. And this is what I mean when I say we're about making a contribution. And it should be respected as such by every single media outlet. No more low-hanging fruit. No more bad guy. It should be respected as such. And that's what I'm fighting for. This ain't no SNL spoof. This is every night to 3 a.m. trying to make something that you can enjoy, that can inspire you, that can be the soundtracks of our lives. This ain't no joke. It ain't no joke. A lot of people get up and say, you know, 
I would die for what I believe in, but I, I switched it up. I decided I'm going to live for what I believe in. Because I need to be here. Because I'll be looking at certain shit that come out here and certain shit come out. I'll be like, I need to get to the studio very quickly. And I just, I feel so comfortable. And something about these moments when these chords play and I'm in front of y'all that I feel like I'm in my, I'm in my living room. I feel like I'm around loved ones. You know, I know that uh, for y'all to be here after all these years, you must love me. And I come out and I express myself and wear my heart on my sleeve because I love y'all too. And when I talk that shit, or rather talk that truth, it's for those of you that don't got a voice. It's for those of you that if you turn up, you'll lose your job, and if you lose your job, then you lose your car, and you lose your house too. So when people be trying to play you, you gotta be quiet. But I can't get fired off this stage. So it's my responsibility to turn up for whoever don't got the voice. So maybe tonight might have shared just a little bit of clarity, a little bit more clarity, a little bit more understanding of the point, of the passion, of the mission, of the reasons. Let's have a toast for the Let's have a toast for the And you want it in Let's have a toast for the Gotta never take work 